A lot of times people ask me, Ran, why do you like capitalism so much? Don't you care for the poor? Don't you see in capitalism the rich just keep getting richer? It's a system where the strong survives. And my answer to that is, I like people. I like to meet new people. And when I meet new people, I would like to know, when is your birthday? What do you like to do? What do you work out? What is making you excited? What makes you tick? And if you like people, you know, when people come together, uh, they, they create stuff, they build stuff. The wealth, uh, they, they create more wealth where there has not been before. They can create things. So, but when you look at today in the world, we don't have anywhere, we don't have capitalism anymore. The closest that we have be, uh, came uh, to have capitalism was the United States in the uh, 19th century. And ever since then, in the last hundred years, we have gone, uh, we kept going uh, all the time backwards uh, in, in small steps. But after a hundred years of going backwards, uh, we don't, we are very far from capitalism. We have cronyism. And please don't call it crony capitalism because cronyism and capitalism has nothing to do with each other. Capitalism is about freedom. Uh, it, it, it's about giving uh, people freedom to pursue their happiness, what makes them happy. Doesn't necessarily mean uh, uh, to make money. But usually when people pursue their happiness, when they, uh, uh, you know, a lot of time the, it results in having, in, in creating money. When you help other people and when, when you create things that people need, you will make a lot of money. Cronyism is when the government gets involved and they bail out failing companies. They they give money to bankers. They bail out uh, evil people, evil people that do evil things and that deserve to deserve to fail. Um, so this is what we have today all around the world, and uh, we call that capitalism. And that's why I I am really mad on the right. You know the right the conservatives that are supposed to protect uh, uh, freedom and capitalism and who are calling themselves a capitalist, they are not actually capitalists and they give capitalism a bad name. In capitalism, the poor and the middle class are the main benefits because uh, the living standard of the uh, most of the population is going up and, uh, and then the main benefiters from that are the middle class that is being created. Less the rich, because rich, when you are really rich, if you have a hundred million dollars or if you have 200 million dollars, your standard of living is not going to change, not by any significant amount. But if you are poor and suddenly you are middle class, and if a lot of people are suddenly middle class, uh, their living standard is going way up. Now, I wanted to give you the example of Sweden. Now, uh, if you follow this channel, maybe you heard I moved recently to Sweden because of the freedom that there is still here in the last year regarding to this uh, surveys sickness. And uh, uh, Sweden used to be a very capitalist country. Actually, it was the most capitalist country in Europe uh, since the mid 19th century until the mid 20th century. Sweden was the most capitalist country in Europe and also the richest country in Europe by far. But uh, since the 1960s, Sweden became very, very socialist country. And over the span of 30 years, they've destroyed all of the wealth that they've created. They've created massive amount of wealth. And in 30 years, uh, they started to distribute wealth and do all these social programs. And they became dirt poor. Uh, in the 90s, Sweden was very close. Uh, to bankruptcy. In 1994, Sweden was uh, uh, very, very close to ban uh, bankruptcy. And in 1994, they changed course. So since 1994 until today, so the last 26 years, Sweden has been deregulating, lowering taxes, and, and just going towards the path of freedom and the, uh, more prosperity and more capitalism. And today, Sweden is uh, uh, one of the more capitalist country, uh, you know, uh, let's say in Europe. And uh, you can see it on their wealth. And uh, unlike, for example, their uh, uh, West cousins, uh, the Norwegians, Sweden don't, uh, they didn't have the uh, gift from the oil gods and they don't have any uh, oil reserves. So they can't afford to be socialist anymore. So their only way to succeed, and they have seen this, is to go the capitalist way. And now 
Sweden is also not a perfect example of capitalism. They're not. They still have a big uh, welfare state, much, much smaller than they used to have, but they still have it. Uh, so, so they still have high taxes. And the difference is Sweden don't have ma- a, a very progressive tax. There is a progressive tax. So when you earn more, you, you have higher percentage to pay, but it's not very steep. Everyone pay high taxes. So everyone that is uh, just a little bit above the average uh, uh, salary in Sweden is already in the maximum uh, percentage bracket and is already paying the maximum uh, uh, tax in percentage. Um, so Sweden understand that if you want to have government programs, majority of people have to pay for it. And in my eyes, if they got rid of that, uh, Sweden would be even much more prosperous than they are today. But that's a different story. Where Sweden is very capitalist is in bureaucracy. Sweden have very low bureaucracy. It's very easy to start a business here. You can start it like that. Uh, everything is very simple. If you need to pay taxes, it's very simple. If a government owe you back taxes, it's very, very simple. Usually everything just works automatically. Um, and, and just in general, they have less regulation on starting businesses, on, on, on different um, you know, sectors and, and much more free. So in comparison to the United States, United States have lower taxes, but they have much more regulation. So I would say that Sweden and United States are about the same level of capitalism. Maybe even, maybe uh, Sweden is starting to, to pass because Sweden is, uh, in my eyes, are going uh, towards more capitalism while the United States, which have been uh, the most capitalist country in the world, and uh, uh, the trajectory is going uh, towards less capitalism. Uh, so if you love people, if you want people to succeed, you should support uh, uh, capitalism. And uh, you have two ways to do that. One, move to a capitalist country. If you are in, in some place that have very high regulation, if you live, for example, in in, uh, in Israel, or if you live in uh, uh, Greece, or if you live in uh, any country that have very high regulation, move to a country that is more capitalist, or move to United States, or move to Sweden, or move to uh, Switzerland, or move to uh, maybe uh, Singapore, uh, or Hong Kong, some capitalist place. That is one way to do it. The second way to do it is spread the word, spread uh, uh, and explain to people what is capitalism, explain that it's about freedom, explain that it's about helping uh, everyone, uh, standard of living improve, explain that all the capitalist countries have always created more wealth and took more poor people out of poverty and created the middle class. And all of the socialist countries, uh, uh, they, they destroyed wealth, they made, uh, uh, they impoverished people. And they caused, if you look on the communist countries, they have killed millions of people, millions, tens of millions of people. So if you like people, you like capitalism. Spread the word.